Welcome back everyone, it's your boy XQ Flex here and today I got my ever first zombie gameplay for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Packer Punch and not just how to get the Packer Punch, I'll be going into the Packer Punch room and showing you guys what the camo looks like and what I personally think of the, uh, the camo and what I think of just how to get the Packer Punch in general. So that's what uh, you have to get the rituals, and you have to have certain parks, uh, and that's just, you can't uh, do the rituals. So you have to get like a like a wee key with a pen inside it, and then you get the main ball. Uh, as you seen at the start of the video, uh, and then after that you do the ritual. This is all uh, shortened down. Uh, you get a worm, which is required to uh, get the pack punch, as you'll see later in the video, but. You go up here, and this is in the canals bit, and you go to the bottom, and you turn on that switch, so you can get up the stairs, unless you can't uh, go in to activate the, uh, the ritual. Uh, you pick up this here, this is the part to do the ritual right now, and if you don't have light you can't do the ritual, because that's the part required to do the ritual. So unless you guys don't have that, unless you guys have that, you can't do the ritual. And after that, as you see, this is worm number two. And then over here, you climb up uh, this bit. Usually, it's like near uh, like the the uh, what do you call it near a starting bit. You pick up this headpiece. You jump up here, and you turn on the switches behind the sign. Not many people know that. But the sign above this building here, which is like sort of like a show, uh, you there's a, a wee hook you can climb up behind the monster, and uh, it's very well hidden. So if you guys didn't know that, you just that's how you guys uh, get into that place. And this is the third worm that is required for a packet punch. And then you cope down this box and you pick it up near the boxing arena, and you guys go down to the boxing arena, open the doors with the base and I defeat the ritual there, as you put the belt there and <coughs> you just survive a couple, like a minute or two or 30 seconds and then you guys will have your last worm that you is required to pack a punch uh, the only thing I really don't like a pack punch, it gets very scunner when you have to keep on doing this and doing it and doing it every time you start a game to uh, play to pack a punch but I guess it's more of a challenge and uh, it's good fun uh, when you have mates but look at this, <laughs> nearly got killed here, I don't even know how I survived that I was just like get me in the door <laughs> but yeah that I didn't really work out but yep at least I survived but anyway guys as you guys get into the pack punch room the, when you have all the parts required you uh, put your f four worms at each side of this temple and each time you put one in the bottom left and right, the wall should form, and you want a wall run across that. And go to your left and go to this bit and place your worms here. This will form a wee mini path to jump over to the other side where we just came from. And as you can see, there is blue or like power coming from uh, our energy, to be honest, uh, from the worms to the pack punch. Then you activate the ta the that ritual over at the table to uh, get the pack of punch working, and you survive for like thirty seconds to a minute. But yeah, that is basically how you get the pack of punch. After you survive that, you can pack a punch whatever guns you want, and you can repack a punch again to upgrade your guns. So there's like different perks you can get for your guns. So there's one like it's fireworks so when you kill so many enemies. Uh, there'll be fireworks coming out, which is pretty cool. And if you know, if you guys want to know how you know you've definitely done a pack punch, a guy should be speaking to you, and he would talk talk to you about uh, that you've basically done the pack punch. But then you go over to the pack punch. There should be a crack, and you hold in square. And there you go, guys. That's how you do the pack punch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button and subscribe for more Black Ops Three content. The camo itself, I think, I don't really like it because I think it's way too demonic. Uh, 
I don't really, I don't agree any of that. Uh, I don't know why Treyarch decided to put so much demonic stuff in this game. I uh, don't even need it. But yeah, that's just my, uh, that's just my thoughts about it, guys. But everyone, take care. God bless, and I'll see you guys.